Welcome back to Lily's Crafty Corner. I'm Lily. Today I'm going to share with you three hauls that I did, and they're small, so it'll only take a few minutes. But uh, I thought that they were, I kind of liked what I picked up today. So the first thing is I went to the Dollar Tree, and or the Dollar 25 tree, and I picked this up. Now I know that this was, I don't know if it's meant for summer, I don't know if it's meant for school, what it's meant for, but I will tell you what I picked it up for. Uh, we have a pool and when we go to the pool, even though I have a refrigerator, they, a small refrigerator that's built into the pool house, I like to take sometimes drinks with me and sometimes it's iced coffee, whatever, when we're having people. Well, the thing is, I thought this was a great drink carrier. The other thing is sometimes that we have a local um, convenience store that makes the most awesome iced coffees and coffee and sometimes we go down and get the specialty coffees for a treat. They're really quite inexpensive, um, especially when you compare them to places like, um, what is it, uh, Starbucks. And anyway, uh, this way if we have folks here then I can pick up or if we go any place where we're getting drinks. Um, these are a lot easier. Even when we go to the, our minor league ball, ball game and we take a lot of them, take the kids with us, this is kind of nice to take because they don't give you the carriers. And I just love using this for a drink carrier. The other thing I picked up, which I usually get, um, you know, the little packets that you pour into your water um, there. And they have various ones. Well, this is a new one, or at least the first time. It's new to me. Let's put it that way. And it's called True Lemon. And I happen to have it in my water bottle now. And it's amazing. And it is, um, there's no calories, no sugars. It's unsweetened. And there's 12 packets for the dollar and a quarter. And it happens to be um, actually real lemon. Um, you know, dried. So each packet contains the taste of one lemon wedge. And it's, I, I was really quite pleased with this. Uh, so anyway, I just thought I would mention it. And these are, and the thing is, they're not long and skinny. Where the other ones that they have, I usually have to cut those in half, put those, just use half of one in even a 20 ounce bottle. These are perfect. And they're made from real lemon. In fact, it just mentions it right here. I don't know if you can see that, but it says made with real from real lemon. So anyway, I'm really very pleased with these. So if you get a chance to get them, they're definitely something to uh, positive to think about. Now, the other thing is I went to Joann's. And I know that they've been having a lot of sales and so forth. However, there really wasn't all that much that I was interested in. However... These papers were 40% uh, off, and I didn't open this yet, but this is vellum. These papers here are vellum, and here, let me just uh, I'm open it. Yeah, I haven't opened it yet, but they just look amazing. Let's see if I can get that. Here we go. And these are vellum papers. And these are just beautiful. Because, And again, I knew that they would be beautiful. I'm sorry I have the shadow. My lighting is poor. I just, you know, use my phone and I have the overhead lighting that, uh, from my ceiling fan. That's all I have. So, anyway, hopefully you can won't mind that too much but here's some more of the papers so there seems to be three of each and then the or four I'm not sure three of each yeah and then we have these they're just absolutely gorgeous and I'm really looking forward to using them in you know journals and other projects and this is the um the paper pad and these were, and it came, you know what, I think it came to, oops, my piece fell over. Yeah, that's just to, so you don't have to see my mess. I don't even want to see my mess. But anyway, these are, there's 36 to the pad, 
and this 12 by 12 includes 36 double-sided papers. It's acid-free um, paper, and it's called Natural Nature's Garden, and this is absolutely beautiful paper. Um, I just can't get over how gorgeous this paper is, both double-sided. Let's go. And then it has the matching vellums. And this is all they had. They didn't have anything else there to go along with this. They did have some other collections. However, they, I wasn't in, honestly, I know a lot of people like the flamingos, but that's just not something that I typically would want to spend money on, you know, this much money. Now, these were relatively inexpensive. I believe this came with the 40% off. This came to around $5 or less than $5. And the, this paper pad was 12-something. Um, so it really was nice. And I love the backs have that marbling. So I don't feel like I'm losing anything. Uh, you know, which, whichever side. And what I do like about double-sided papers is if you decide you want to do something where you want to fold your paper up, like for a pocket or something, you have this lovely uh, coordinating and they match and they just look so nice together. And I do, and the, one of the reasons I like using a uh, double-sided paper is the fact that you really have a two for one. So when you make something and you wanna add other paper, you don't have to really cut anything else. I don't normally use the whole sheet, so I will have some extras that I can use for to make a coordinating ephemera. And like I said, this marbling on the other side is absolutely, look at that green. That is absolutely amazing. And I just, and I love they have the, uh, the honeycomb. And then here's the, a lovely green piece, uh, pink piece. And let me see where these are. Okay, that's that. I mean, they're just, I mean, there's just, they're just absolutely gorgeous papers. I just can't say enough about how gorgeous this paper is. And they're all botanicals. They're great for summer and spring and any time of the year. And some of these, now this is maybe you could use more towards the uh, fall. But they're, oh, and that purple is absolutely gorgeous. I'm, I'm, and again, I'm sorry for the shadows. I only record with my phone and whatever lighting I have. These are more sharing and I'm not really a professional YouTuber, so to speak. <laughs> but I do like to share things. Now, my next thing that I picked up is from Hobby Lobby. And they had a lot of 40%. Oh, see, this is what I'm telling you. I have a very tight space and I just knocked all these things over. Oh, well. Say Libby. Anyhow, these were a dollar ninety nine, and this was sixty percent off. And they give you two stencils, and I love them. And I'm thinking, I mean, I can certainly use this on for wood, um, on a, a journal cover, or even just portion of it. So it does go a long way. And I just thought for a dollar ninety nine at sixty six percent off was a steal. Now, they had very little Christmas out. In fact, very disappointing. However, I did find in their sequence area, these were 99 cents. They were not 40% off, but I wanted to use these um, in, a, um, in some projects I have for the holidays. Then these are adorable. These were 40% off. Now, these were, oh, unfortunately, how many pieces are here? These are 10 pieces, I believe. No, it's not 10 eight pieces for $3.99, and they were 40% off. And again, that was a kind of pricey, still pricey, but I thought for the few pieces that I want to use these for, they would be very nice. And the same thing with the uh, candy canes. They're only six pieces, and again, $4.49, but 40% off. This is something that I have been purchasing recently, the sticker, stickablist, um, was it stick of Bilty, Blitties, Bilty, whatever. Anyway, holiday, it's the vintage holiday pack. 
and they were 40% off. And they're really cute for the different holidays, and I do like them. And now that I have great-grandchildren, uh, these will go a long way on some things. But they're, again, for 40% off, I thought it was worth it. Now, I also picked up the paper, st all paper studio things were 40% off. And then they had the Christmas, uh, vintage Christmas paper crafting kit. I picked up two of them. They were 40% off at $6.99, and I thought it was a relatively good buy. You end up with, um, what is it? Two, four, six, eight, ten pieces of 12 by 12 paper. You get the stickers. You get alphabet stickers. Do I have that up too high? Let's get that more in the frame. Then you also get these other um, shapes and their die cuts, which are here. And I haven't opened it up, but I will, just to give you a better look at them. So I figured that at 40% off, they were definitely worth the purchase. And I do pick these up when I have, like, I'm doing for specialty, like, uh, when my grandson went into the Army, I picked up the one. And they happened to have been 40% off that day, too. So that was nice. And then when, uh, you know, for when he had his high school graduation, I had picked up the graduation ones. And as you can see, these are the die cuts that come with it. And you get quite a few. I mean, it's not like they're being stingy with them. And they're lovely. And they're all different. And there's quite a few in here. I don't know. It doesn't I don't know if they told me how many. But I'm thinking there's close to 40, if not more. Yeah, there's quite I mean, because there's a frame. There's two frames actually. And the frames are really quite nice. There's three. And this one is a um, musical one, which is rather nice. So you have the three frames. And then, oh, that's adorable. Joyful wishes. And then, of course, there's the typical stockings and stamps. But there's some um, sentiments. So, again, you're getting quite a bit for your $6.99 if you're buying it full price. And here's another one with the lamppost. Again, I just think that they're awesome. Uh, very happy with the their uh, paper packs. And what I and the main reason I like them, I believe, is the fact that you don't end up with a lot of leftovers. Because um, I, I know when you buy a lot of these paper packs, um, you just you have your a, a specific project that you want to do, and uh, then you're kind of stuck at the end with other, you know, a, a great deal of paper sometimes. And then you have to figure out, well, where can I use this? And that's where you end up. I end up with a lot of extras that I don't really need. And I'm going to say that I don't want them, but I definitely don't need them. So the reason that I ended up purchasing two packages is um, I do have... Uh, my young, my older grandchild, Victoria, she's married and has two children. And Jackson um, was a year uh, in January, uh, not January, February 1st. And his sister was born two weeks before his first birthday. So they're definitely Irish twins and we are I, um, have Irish background. So it's sort of apropos. And... What we decided, what I decided to do this year is, and though I did one last year too for Victoria, but I thought, well, I want to do one for my, um, my daughter, myself, and my granddaughter. And my son-in-law's mom is, um, has dementia, but she, there's times that she's sort of with it. And I wanted to do a album for her with the grandchildren because it kind of helps her, or her great-grandchildren, and it kind of helps her to um, remember. And she likes looking at them. So I plan on doing four albums 
with these two sets. And I think I'll be able to. They're not going to be big. They're going to be more or less mini. Probably um, I'll be making them, what, 5 by 7 um, or 5 by 8, 5 by 7 and a half, so that um, we can put the 4 by 6 pictures in them and uh, everybody will enjoy them. So those, that is my haul for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please, by all means, I would love for you to have you subscribe. I will be doing more hauls and some other project shares. And I'm just going to show you something that I am going to do a video on shortly, which is a uh, shaker. Uh, either you can use this as a tag or a bookmark. So um, I want to show you how I did it. And I will, I'll explain how I did it because I do like to keep my videos somewhat short. So I'll have it prepped and then you'll be able to see. But I'm absolutely, um, do want to share that with you. And these are why I purchased these to, um, to use in those shakers. So anyway, have a great day. Have a great, the rest of your summer. And please, uh, give me a thumbs up and, uh, Feel free to subscribe. Anyway, have a great rest of your day. Bye.